Hey, and spending a few minutes with us. We'd love to have you back in the future whenever you're, you're in town. Thank you. Okay, Marriage has a few much. risks, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mine. Who do you think you are? Hey, what are you talking about? I'm Jake, personal fitness trainer to the stars and all-around good guy. Who are you? You knucklebeak. There's only one Jake, and he's me. Hey, there's only one way to settle this, all right? What was your first job in Hollywood, pal? Universal Studios, The Incredible Hulk. Okay, it's your turn, Pally. How many suits do you own? None. <laughs> okay, what's my motto? Hey, stick to the fight when your heart is hit. Aha! You forgot one thing. Me? It's when things seem worse when you must not quit. Don't quit. Really, me, Jake, and we have a great show for you today. You know, when you go on a vacation and you put on the poundage, well, we have a don't quit story about a travel expert who managed to drop 51 pounds. And I have a great workout for the trappers, you know, the trapezoids, you know, the shoulders. But first, I want you to introduce you to a guy, well, me, or at least a guy who tried to convince you he was me, Fred Travelina. Hey, hey. How, are you? <laughs> how are you doing? Thank you, and thank you for being so kind to me. You're going to pick me up and throw me right out of the no, building. Yeah. Grab your broomsticks. And your lightweights, if you don't have the lightweights, it's okay to start off for beginners with nothing at all on your hands. No problem. But remember, check with the doctor before doing any kind of exercise program. Today, I want you to meet the gang, my brother Peter, our exercise expert. How you doing? Fabulous. Feeling doing good? Ready to do it? Absolutely. All right. A real champion. And part of the Jake gang, Karen Boynton. Karen Boynton. You're a college student, uh -huh. and you're from? I'm originally from Monterey, California. Okay. And I moved down here to go to school. And uh, I heard backstage that there's a special food, a, 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 like an energizing kind of a meal you eat before you work out. I didn't see you doing this, so why don't you fill us in? What is it? Do I have to? Go ahead. It's chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, anyway, there's an exercise that you want. Chocolate chip cookie dough for an energy... You didn't hear that from me, gang. <laughs> There's um, a certain exercise that you do want to work on, though, today? I want to work on shoulders. Why, a little stress at school? Yes, exams, yeah. Perfect. Okay, we got just the exercise. So our highlighted exercise is going to work on the shoulders. But now it's time for the Jake workout. Are you ready to do it? Grab your broomsticks. Jake stance now. Feet shoulder width apart, right? Knees mm -hmm. bent slightly. Let's bring the stick over the head. Stomach in nice and tight, squeezing the old battissimo, right? Try it. Really easy, gang. Take it at your own pace. Small stretch up, one. Good. And two. Reaching up to the sky. Three, four, and five. That's it. Six. Bend those knees. Seven. And perfect. Now come on down. Bend over a little bit and slide it over to the side. One, two. Good. Three, and four. Feel it stretching the legs out. Five, and six, seven, and great. A little bit lower. Good. Cookie dough. <laughs> three. Four, perfect, five, and six, and seven, and great. Palms down, side lunges. Stretch it out. Now, gang, you don't have to get down all the way. Beginners can start out a little bit higher. Obviously, Karen Boynton is doing a very good job. Five, six, seven, and great. Now, turn to the side and stretch the calves out. There you go. Keep the knee right behind the foot. Stretch out the calves. You feel it in the calf? Uh -huh. Right, stretch it out. Good. Peter, doing a very good job. Turn on the side. It's nice to have your brother doing it. You don't worry about anything. He's got it under control. Stretch it out. Stretch the camera, right? Perfect. Always stretch. Nice and slow. Now, come on down for the Jake run. It's cardiovascular time. It's nice and easy. Back nice and streamlined. Small kicks. Exchange the legs. This is great for the whole body. Everybody can try it. Start off small. Do a little bit smaller. Two, three, four, five. You don't want to bounce. Six, seven, and perfect. Now roll over on your back. Sit up time. That runs great for everybody. Instead of jumping up and down like that, take the pressure off the knees and the shins. Bingo. Knees are bent slightly, right? Feet are flat on the ground. Stomach now. Reaching through. Now you don't want to lift all the way up. Just the shoulders coming off the ground. Feel it? Uh -huh. Two. Three. Let's work off some of that cookie dough. <laughs> Steve, cookie dough. Steve doesn't believe either, my producer. Six. Seven. I feel like I have my own show when I say that. Eight and great. On your side. Here we go. I do. Don't you have Body real tight. Right. Let's work the outer thigh now. Foot is flexed. Bring it all the way up. 
and down. You want to keep your upper body tight. You want to breathe normally. Feel it in the outer thigh? Mm -hmm. Three. And four. What are you studying at school? Five. Cookie dough. Six. <laughs> Thank you. Seven. Oh, God. Eight. And great. Roll it over. Here we go. We've got a lot of champions on this show. Here we go. Out of thigh. Oh, Ready? Other side. You want to walk around lopsided? <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Up and go one. And two. You got to have fun. He's into it. Try the exercises. Karen loves it. Five. <laughs> Six. Uh, what are you planning to have for lunch? What do you think I plan to have for lunch? This <laughs> is not square by <laughs> <Yeah>. sticks. <laughs> oh, great. Here we go. Let's pop it up. Let's square by sticks. Working the legs now. Thighs in the buttissimo. Put the stick behind the neck. Right. Small lunge. Right leg out. Bring it back. Left leg. Good. Bring it back. Let's go for eight. Two. And three. Stomach tight. Squeeze your hands real tight. Four. And five. Come on, gang. Everybody try it. It's going to be a smoking day. Six, seven, and perfect. I'll take the sticks. Let's grab the weights. It's highlight time. Time to highlight the shoulders, gang. Let's keep the knees bent slightly. Jake stance again, right? Take all the pressure off the lower back. Stomach in. Shoulder presses now. Real small for six. Ready? Up one. And two. You don't want to lock out. You want to come up. Three. And down. Four. And five and six. Now for that extra little bit there for highlight time. Front punch. One. Good. Two. Shoulders. Three. And four. Keep it going. And five. Six. Two more for good luck. And seven. And great. How are we feeling, gang? All right? Good. All right. Bicep really curls. Good. One. And two. That's it. Three. Are you trying it at home? Four. And five. Six. She's having a great time. Seven. And great. Let's bend over. Here we go. Tricep kickouts. Elbows locked in real tight. We're going to try them now. Kick it out. Bend those knees. Boy, Karen, you're doing really great. I oh, guess that. Three, four, and five, and six. Two more times. Seven, and great. I'll take the weights. Time for a cool down now. Cool down is very important. Have a seat right there. Unless you want to leave, but you can't. Here we go. Legs out nice and wide. Arms straight out, right? You don't have to stretch all the way out like that. Beginners can take a little bit closer. Reaching out, no bouncing, breathe out. Over the left side, we call this the wishbone stretch. How you feeling, Karen? Stretch really it out? Good. Yeah, a little so sweat good. going, right? Hopefully you'll keep up the good work without the you-know-what. Other right <laughs> side, here we go. Do I have don't to... mention the word anymore. Do I have to give it up? On Saturdays, you can have it. Okay. No, I'll tell you what, though, really, it's good. On Saturdays, you know, it's good to diet the whole week, and then you take a day off. You know what I'm saying? Take one day off. Okay. okay, one leg straight out. Straight out. And this leg in. Reach out over the leg. Here we go. Nice. Switch it up. Other leg. Very nice. Stretch it out. Good. Reach out both arms. Two legs straight out. Head down. Bend the knees slightly, gang. Stretching out is very important at the end. Cooling it down. Bring it in. Feet touching each other. Head down. Fantastic, Karen. You're ready to go back to school. Beautiful. <laughs> So how are you doing? How do you feel? Great. All right. Girls who roll out of Much as a half a year in strange hotels and faraway places. He's a nationally syndicated newspaper columnist who decided a year and a half ago to lose some of that extra baggage around the middle. Since then, he's lost over 53 pounds and kept it off. Be travel expert and a true believer in the don't quit philosophy, Peter Greenberg. Very good. Peter, how you doing? I'm doing now, okay. I have to have a time out here for a half a second. I'm particularly proud, gang, because he is a body by Jay Client, and, and you've been working out with us now for... About a year and a half. A year and a half. But I got to tell you something, though. This guy gives you a wake-up call you can't ignore. He's at your house, like, at 6.30 in the morning. Get up. Get up. <laughs> and... This is the truth. It's absolutely true. And, and at 7.15, he's gone, and I'm standing there going, okay, I'm now going to go back to sleep. And you don't go back to sleep, because if you do, you lose it. Right. Exactly. Now, as a kid, now I know the whole story, but let's go over it for everybody at home. As a kid, you were overweight growing up, right? Not that much overweight, but the thing is that I gained the weight when I stopped smoking. I used oh. to smoke, see? And I get, but I stopped smoking like 19 years ago on a bet. It was like New Year's Eve, and I was... I made a bet with somebody else who smoked. I said, okay, the first person who starts smoking after this bet has to pay the other person $1,000. And that was 1969. A lot of money. So it was a lot right? of dough. And uh, so three days later, I'm in the Middle East. 
um, we're being shot at. We're in the we're we're on the border between Israel and Syria. We're in foxholes, and everybody. I mean, what now in the middle? I was covering the c covering the stories over there for Newsweek, and 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 somebody was behind me, and they were running around. We were getting shot at, and everybody's going to die. It was like goodbye. It's over. We're going to die. And the Israeli soldiers were coming by, handing out these worst cigarettes you've ever seen in your life. Everybody and people who didn't even smoke are going, great. I'm going to die. Give me a cigarette, right? Right. They got to me, and I said, you know, I'm really trying to quit. The war stopped for like 15 seconds while everybody turned around and said, what? You know? <laughs> And that was great. I stopped smoking. And then I went on refrigerator patrol. I came back, and every 15 minutes I was opening that door, hoping I'd missed something 15 minutes previously. And I hadn't. <laughs> so uh, that was the problem. Now, you know, as far as motivation goes, how, how did you feel, well, put it this way, um, as far as self-esteem self goes, how did you feel as being heavy? You know, it's interesting. I never really dealt with it until I lost the weight, you know, because that was the defense mechanism. I was like, oh, I'm a nice guy. I'm funny. I'm smart. And like the weight, I'll deal with it later. And you can't deal with it later. You know, you would come over and work me out, and I'd feel great. <laughs> I'd feel wrecked, but I'd feel right, great. Right, 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 right. And then you'd leave, and I'd like maybe have an Oreo or 12. You know? Right, well, that was tough, and because I tell you the truth, gang. I mean, in, you know, the actual beginning, yeah. we would do a workout, and I would search the house for things he would hide. He'd hide cookies and cakes, and I'd find them and actually put them in my car and leave with them. But that's what you used to do in the beginning, right? Now I know where they went. <laughs> <laughs> now, what exactly motivated you, of course, besides myself, sure. to turn it all around? Well, what turned it around was, was I had a birthday. And, you know, birthdays are interesting, you know, watershed moments in your life. And I, had, I went back to New York to see my doctor and just for my annual physical. And the physical was great. You know, everything was fine, except for the weight. And he said, you know, when was the last time you were on the scale? And I kind of went, you know, but hey, 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 because I didn't want to know, you know. Right. He said, get on the scale. Well, when I saw what I weighed, I was like so irrevocably embarrassed. That was it. That was the moment I said, that's it, let's do it. Now, all the times that everybody else told me, hey, you really got to lose the weight, my mother, my dad, right. I said, you said, yeah, right, I'll deal with it. You got to do it. It's, it's when you put yeah. it in your head, it's That's time right. to do it. It's just That's like right. with anything else, with, you know, exercising and saying, I have to start exercising or I have to stop smoking. Exactly. Right. Now, the problem for me is, you know, you mentioned it before, is the travel. You know, you can have the motivation to lose the weight, and then you get on an airplane and they put a tray of stuff in front of you. you know? Right. And most people don't realize this, but you don't eat airline food because you're hungry. You eat it because you're bored, you know, and it's garbage. I mean, even if you order the vegetable plate or the fruit plate, you know, that's been sitting around going oh, right. for about three hours. So you don't want to eat that. You bring your own. So now Do I get on the plane. you pack your own lunch? Yeah. Now I'm like, you know, <laughs> I get on the plane. I got my little apple and my little cracker. But you feel plane. better when you, you get off the plane. Yeah. The one thing you got to worry about, though, is even though you pack your own stuff, don't eat the snacks either on the plane. Right. Those honey roasted nuts are like... It's the death, worst. the worst. Yeah. Now, how do you feel now? I mean, after you lost the weight, I mean, I see this guy everywhere now, gang. And, I mean, he walks around. It's like a big, there's a huge smile on your face. Yeah, I feel great. It's interesting, though, what happens when you lose the weight, not just in terms of your work and, and, and how you feel about yourself, but about how other people deal with you, which is interesting. In a way, it's a sad commentary about the way we are in this country, but also it's human mm -hmm. nature. You know, if a wonderful-looking woman comes in the room, I'm going to notice her, and right. vice versa. And you can never ignore that. So, now, if it doesn't change the way you are as a person, right. you're not going to become a, a crazy bad person. Right. But it's interesting. Okay, now, what was the biggest change? I mm -hmm. mean, is there one big change that, that uh, you know, has taken place? Well, the one big change is that uh, I'm really good friends with my tailor now. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh... You're going to go I, back and everything altered again. Have, oh, oh, no, actually, it's thrown out. Oh, no. You don't... That's the, that's the one thing you don't do. You don't keep those clothes because... You get rid of them. Yeah, because if you do... There's always that possibility you're going to fit them again. But and you took it off a little bit at a time, though, right? Oh, yeah. You eased off, for, just like oh, yeah. everybody at home, a couple if of pounds a week, not that 30 or 40 pounds in oh, two no. weeks because you end up gaining it all back. Not right? only that, you know, most, most of those fasts are terrible right. because you lose the water and you lose the fat and then you start losing the muscle. And, you know, there have been like 60 deaths in this country because the heart's a muscle. Right. You've got to do it moderately. And slowly. Absolutely. Peter, you're looking fantastic. All right. Petey, I say. Fantastic. <laughs> Good job. Don't <laughs> Here it comes, the Slam and Jam and Rip Roar and Good Time video. The NBA's dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers. And the only way to get all the fun is free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. See your heroes fly through the air with the greatest of ease and land just about anywhere they please. For 45 minutes of all the right stuff, they'll give it a whirl and give it a heave. And if you hang around long enough, you'll see things you won't believe. Call this number now and get every... Jamal. Okay. I want to go and swing it right over. 
Right now, we're going to resist a little bit on the outside. We're making right. believe we're in Hawaii, <laughs> in the beautiful right. ocean. Keep it calm. Calm for the baby, calm for you. Okay, and people who aren't pregnant out there could be jumping in on this exercise, too. Let's go for six, right? right? And keep your leg underwater at all times, of right. course. Right. Here we go. Two. Stay in the water. Hey, that was cool. Three. I can't let Stella. Don't worry, I won't charge you extra. Four. Keep it going. Five. One more time. And six. This is this feels right. good on the other side. Okay. Now we don't want to be lopsided, so we'll go the other side, I think. Right, you want to do that? Just for everybody too? at home. Come okay. on, everybody, let's do it. Ready? Cross over. Resist on the way up. And keep and your bring it keep down. your foot straight like that. Right. Two. Real nice. I think You know, I don't know all the lingo that three. you guys use. But well, we're working the thymans here, right. you know, the outer thigh and the battissimo. I know you say flex your ankle, not keep your foot straight. Four, that's right. right. Five, right. one more time, and six. Okay, what's the second Okay, one? now we've got one that goes straight out in front and straight okay. out in back, so we can do it all at one. Okay. You can go straight out in front. Straight front, straight, straight out, out, out in back. Straight out in back. So we're working and you have to pull the thigh your... and also the hamster, the hamstring. Pull now, your hamster. There you go. There you go. Catch it on. We go bring it up. That sounded obscene almost. No. And uh, that. So you gotta have fun. You gotta enjoy right. yourself while you're working out. Right. Two. Good. Now you just had to lean on the ledge of the pool. Three. Good. Now has this really made made your pregnancy easier? You know, being able to work out. No, like but this? it's made work out a lot easier. <laughs> Four. Two more ties. Five. And six. On the leg. No. Everybody at home? Okay. Here we go. Ready? One. Kick it all the way in, right? Right. And two. That's it. Three. This is a good little warm-up before we do the warm to the Jake workout. Well, we're not splashing at all, are Five. we? Five. Well, the water is not bad. <laughs> six. And good. Okay. okay. Now, a continuation of that one would be just to curl up in the back. Oh, a little curl? Like so okay. you lean over a little further and right. just take it like now, this. Now, we're on the side of the pool right now, right? We're right. Like on the side. Well, you, you practically lean on the, on the concrete like this. So lean on the curl concrete up. and just kick back and up? And just kick curl up. All right, we'll do three of those. Right. Right? One. Kick it up. Come on, Shannon, you can do a pass. How come only three? Two. Come on, One more time. <laughs> and three. Ooh, okay. Now, here we go. If you're pregnant, you can't get up from here. Oh, oh, no. No. Here we go. I'm out of the water. I'm hopping <laughs> you up. On the leg, real quick. Ready? And go. Up. One. Real nice. Two. Kick it out. And three. Now, I have these on my arms, right. so we could do a little upper I, body I was hoping exercise. you could tell me something to keep these things up while... Right, okay. <laughs> well, what you want to do is keep the knees bent slightly. Okay. okay? Right. Takes the pressure off our lower back. A little key thing here. That's right. Right, we'll hold our arms up, fist. Right. Now, we're in the water now, gang. Now, we're kind of bending down a little bit. Bring it all the way out. Oh, you know, I've got this machine, I think. Right, bring it in. Feel the water. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Three. Keep it going. That's four. Fun, huh? What about that fun? And five. We'll be working our chest into oblivion. Sharon Tweed, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Real nice. Thank you. Here it comes, the Slam and Jam and Rip Roar and Good... Through any kind of exercise program, you want to check with your doctor. Now, all you're going to need for this exercise routine is a broomstick and some light weights. And if you don't have the light weights, all right, a couple of cans of Mama's Tomato Paste would be just great. And if you can't find that, still no excuses. I want you to clench your fists real tight and do some isometrics with us. How's that say, Jake? Isometrics. That's right. Okay. First, I want to say hi to KC. Hello. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Hi. How's everything? Ready to do it? Absolutely. KC's our exercise expert, our advanced group. I want you to follow her strictly, okay? Now, Louise Alvarez from the Jake Gang. How you doing? Hi, okay. How's everything? Okay. Okay, where are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I heard backstage that you like to eat Italian food. Yes, You're a I big Italian big food. Big weakness. A big weakness for Italian food. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Pasta. Ooh, me too. I love pasta. Pasta's great for you too. It really is. But in moderation. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, what part of the body do you want to work on today? The butt and stomach. The butt and the stomach. <laughs> butt and the stomach. Here we go. Ready? Let's go for five. <laughs> One, bam. Two, three, four, <laughs> and great. Okay, I like that move. Okay. Now, anyway, no, really, honestly, seriously, it's always good to have a good time exercising, but now it's time for some business. We're going to work the battissimo, right? Mm -hmm. That's our highlight exercise today. But we want to start off with the Jake warm-up first. Knees are bent slightly, feet shoulder-width apart. 
Let's bring the stick straight up in the air, right? Knees are bent, takes the pressure off the lower back. Come on, everybody out of bed, and let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. If you get up and do this exercise, you're going to have a real winning day. Six, seven, right, Louise? Uh -huh. Eight, and great. Here we go. Coming over and across. Let's do it. It's going to be a good day, right? Three, KC, four, five, six, seven, and great. A little bit lower now. Beginners a little bit slower. Louise is obviously doing her homework. Four, five, six, seven, and great. Put the stick down, side lunges, right? Thighs working the other thigh. It's okay not to go all the way down. That's fine. Three, four. Everybody can try this. Young and old, male and female. I want everybody trying it. One exercise is just fine. It's better than sitting in bed now. Come on, get up and do it. Let's turn to the side. Stretch the calves. Right? Don't bounce. Don't bounce. Keep the body tight. Make sure the knee's not going over. Perfect. Feel the calf? Uh -huh. Turn around. Good, Louise. Stretch it out. Let's put the foot in this way. There you go. Like this. Turn it. So it's just like that. You want to stretch the calf. Perfect. Now, let's get down for the Jake run. Great cardiovascular exercise. Works the whole body. Back nice and streamlined. Boy, oh boy, you're very good. <laughs> Three and four. Come on, Louise, everybody at home. Try the Jake run. Five and six. A little bit shorter. Don't bounce. A little bit shorter. Seven and great. Now on your back. Here we go. Sit up time. Good, good, good. Begin to sit up. Right, palms facing each other. Knees are bent, feet flat on the ground. Just going to raise up, going through the knees. Now, the gang who's been doing this for a while can quicken up the pace if you want. Beginners, follow us, all right? Keeping the back flat, just raising the shoulders off the ground. Seven, and great. On your side, here we go. Perfect. Out of thigh now. Keep it real tight. Upper body flex, right, Louise? Foot flex. KC, right? Six. Seven, and great. Other way around. Here we go. Turn it. Good. In your position. Arms are flexed. How's it feeling? Good. Feels good, right? Uh -huh. it's, good. It's, it's good to work, right? Seven minutes is not that bad. <laughs> now, all. all you can do in the morning, five, six, seven, and great. Now, let's go on all fours now, okay? Foot for the time. Highlight the butt TC mode. Now, let's get down on our elbows, almost like on our forearms. Okay, you comfortable? Uh -huh. Let's take the legs straight out, foot flex. Here we go, up for eight, two, three, and four, five, six, come on, seven, and great. Tuck your nail, other leg, here we go. Legs straight out. Hey, she's got to look great. She looks great, I want to help her out. Two, three, a little bit higher, four, and five. Feeling good? Six. Feel the butt PC mode? Seven. Great. Other leg now. Bring it up. Bend it and push up. Right. The Batissimo push-up. Two, three, four. Feeling it? Five, six, seven, and great. Other leg. Here we go. Bend it and push. One, two. Breathing normally. Three. How you feel, Louise? Broken. Five, <laughs> six. She's feeling great. Seven. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's pop it up. Here we go. Grab the sticks. Lunge time now. Hit. Stick behind the neck. Behind the neck, let's lunge it out, right? Small moves, two. Resting the stick right on your shoulders, three. Working the thighs, and a little bit of the battissimo. Four. This is a great battissimo day, isn't it? Six, <laughs> seven, and great. Nice, let's grab the weights now. Let's work the upper body, okay? Feet shoulder width apart, knees bent. Here we go, six reps. Ready, and one, two, three. Come on, four, Louise, five. And great. Bicep curls. Let's work the biceps. Bend those knees. Take the pressure off the back. Breathing normally. Stomach in tight. Perfect. Let's do it, Louise. Come on. Three more. One. And two. And bingo. Turn to the side now. Bend over slightly. Bend the knees. Elbows locked. Kick it out. Good. Two. You try this at home? Got your cans of mama's tomato paste. That's okay. Let's do it. Three. Four and five and great. Sit right down, legs out wide. I'll take that. Time for the cool down. Wishbone stretch. Reach it straight out. Oh, Louise, where are you going? Sorry. Here we go. That's okay. Over to the left side now. She's not bouncing. Breathing out and reaching. Come on over to the right side. Good, KC. Left leg straight out. Right leg bent. Right leg. Okay, right leg. That's okay. Heavier right. Stretch it out. 
That's okay. Just as long as you do it. That's what counts. Here we go. Other leg straight out. I'm gonna say other leg for that one. Okay. Good. Reach it out. <laughs> nice. Two legs straight out. Together. Bend the knee slightly. Head down. Good. Stretch out the hamstrings and lower back. Don't bounce. Bring it in. Be touching each other. Pow out position. Pow out position. There you go. Oh. Good, good, good. Louise, a little tired. Getting good. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. sugar. Those are not what we're calling complex carbohydrates. Those are the relatives of complex carbohydrates. But we're looking at more of the bread, cereals, pastas, rices, things like that. And why do we need them? Well, you need them because they do give you energy. And everything that you put into your body, whether it's protein, carb, or fat, is eventually broken down in your body to sugar. And it is stored in your body as sugar. But complex carbohydrates are interesting because they keep your blood sugar very even. Mm -hmm. So you feel very full. Um, but you aren't overweight, essentially. They won't put on a lot of weight, but they will make you give a constant energy level, which is what you need. Why don't we go through some of the things we have over here? Okay. Now, first off, I did mention the pasta. Um, is one of the best ones if you've heard of athletes having a big pasta party right. right before a race. Well, it's because they have a lot of complex carbohydrates in them, and they will give extra energy. The same thing is true of rices, whether it's um, like a white rice, you can also have a brown rice, mm -hmm. same thing, complex carbohydrates, macaroni, same as pasta. Then if you go on, this is one of my favorites, oh, yeah. all of the dried beans and peas are right. a great source of complex Except carbohydrates. Except the chickpeas, right? Um, uh, what are those things called you put on your salad? Chickpeas. Chickpeas, no, are those chickpeas? good? Yeah, those oh, are good great. for you too, okay. and they're very low in fat too. They are? Yeah, okay, great. Absolutely. Now we've mentioned the, the rice and pasta, but the one thing we haven't talked about are the whole grain the bread. The whole grain bread. And white bread also is a complex carb, but we're trying to tell people to go more to the whole grain products because you'll get a lot more of the vitamins and minerals that you need. Great. Okay. okay. And here's everybody's favorite, America's favorite really, are the potatoes. Potatoes. And it's not just uh, the white potatoes, you can also have the yams. Okay, the yams or the sweet potatoes are high in the starches or complex carbohydrates. But then we get to the vegetables, and um, almost every vegetable has complex carbohydrates in it, and in fruits as well. But broccoli is one of those magic foods. I call broccoli one of those magic foods right. because it's really loaded with vitamins and minerals. Now, you told me before that, that, you know, all men don't like to eat their vegetables. Well, that, uh, or it, most men, because why? Well, you said that you did, so you're I rare. I know, because I love vegetables. Men, I think, um, grew up with mothers in the 50s who picked the garden fresh vegetables and then cooked them to death. And we're now learning to steam the vegetables, right. stir fry, so they're much crisper. We have a whole new taste for vegetables because we never really knew what a natural vegetable tasted right. like. And it doesn't matter if it's fresh, frozen, or canned, but in general, the fresher the vegetable, the better it is. But they all do have complex carbohydrates. Then we can go on, obviously, to the other green vegetables, which are beans. Beans, okay. okay. The beans, we'll pick them up. Right beans, little, little right. beans, okay. And peas, anything like that, are high in the complex carbs, for short. And then also, if you go to more of the orange and yellow vegetables, even though you're getting complex carbs, which is great. How's about peeling the carrot? People say that that if you don't peel it, there are more vitamins, yes. nutrition. Is that true? And it's the same with the potatoes. What happens in vegetables is most of the vitamins are right under the skin. So that what you really want to do is hold on to every, every amount of vitamin and mineral you can. So all you should do is really just scrub them a little bit and if you can get off the, the dirt. But it's better to leave on as much of the skin as possible. The same way with potatoes. A baked potato has more nutrients in it than, let's say, a mashed potato because of the skin on it. The same thing is true with most vegetables. The less processing you do of a vegetable, the better it is for you. And the more complex carbohydrates you're also going to get out of that. So you should be eating this all day long? Or, I mean, how could you tell people, you know, if they do want a complex carbohydrate right. load up? Right. Well, sure. You, in you fact, know, if they aren't an athlete. Okay. What you should be doing is starting with breakfast. Cereal is one of the most excellent sources of complex carbohydrates. It's also loaded with Not vitamins. Not the sugar on the cereal. No sugar on the cereal. Well, a little bit of sugar if it helps you eat the cereal. But in general, oh, that's interesting. cereals are good for complex carbohydrates. You can start off that way. You're also going to have fruit or fruit juice. And fruits have more fiber and complex carbohydrates in them than the juice would. Okay. Um, then for lunch, everyone loves salads, so you can go to a salad. Um, and for dinner... What kind of dressing, though, on salads? What kind of stuff do you recommend? Well, in general, what I tell people is oil and vinegar and light on the oil and heavier on the vinegar. The same thing. People think when they go through a salad bar line that they're saying, well, I'm on a diet. I'm going through the salad bar line. And you mentioned the chickpeas. 
Chickpeas are wonderful, but they load on three cups of them. Right. And then they also Everything put on... Everything in moderation, gang. Right. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation, even moderation. But then when you go to a salad dressing, they load on the salad dressing. That's not the idea for a vegetable salad. You're trying to get all of the complex carbs you can, so don't use a lot of the salad now, dressing. Now, this stuff also lowers your fat. That's right? right, because they're very low in fat. Fruits and vegetables, in general, most every one of them are low in fat and low in calories. And people say, well, I've heard carrots are high in calories. They're higher in calories than a lot of vegetables, but they're still very low in calories. Right. Okay? Right. Now, here's, here's a little magic I wanted to okay. show people, because we haven't talked really about calories in the complex carbohydrates like the breads and right. pastas, because everyone thinks that breads, pastas, cereals, rice are very high in calories. Right, with the starch, starch stuff. Starch, right. they think that's high in calories, and women especially go on a lot of weight reduction diets. The first thing they do is cut out carbohydrates, which they shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. It's not the complex carbohydrate itself that gives you uh, a lot of calories, it's what you put on it. For example, pasta, a half cup of cooked pasta is about 75 or 80 calories. But when you put on a heavy meat sauce... Smells good, but not that great right. for you. I mean, you need just a dab of the meat sauce. Uh, again, on the... Butter, the same thing. Butter and sour and cream sour on the cream. baked potato. Out. No butter, no sour cream. Well, None use some little tricks. Use a dab of butter or margarine, a dab of sour cream, and some lemon juice on it to cut the fat Fantastic. down. Fantastic. So that's what you're trying to do. Really. Beautiful. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. I'm ready. But remember, everyone grab your broomsticks and your lightweights. If you're a real beginner, start off with no weights at all. No problem. But remember, also, check with the doctor before doing any kind of exercise program. Are you ready to meet the gang? Here we go. Leslie, our exercise expert. How are you feeling today, pal? Feel great. Feel good? Ready to do it? Yeah. All right. People who are a little bit more advanced can follow Leslie. But now it's time, Judy Newman. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good. How's it going? Pretty good. Now, you have seven children and seven grandchildren. Yes, I do. I don't believe it. Unbelievable. It's you got true. pictures? No. no. <laughs> now, you had kind of... Uh, put on 100 pounds and lost 100 pounds? Is that uh, what happened? Yes, I, I weighed 230 when I went to uh, uh, Life Force and started exercising. Right, and, and then I lost, lost 100 pounds, and then I had some minor surgery, and I had to slow down, and I gained 50 of it back. And that's why you're here now to start back on a program. We're going to motivate you, because that's really the name of the game. You take it nice and small, ease into a workout, everybody at home the same way. Start off small, ease into it. Now, is there a special exercise that we want to work on first? In my stomach. I have a really bad problem okay. with my stomach. Okay, stomach. <laughs> Highlight exercise today is our stomach. But now it's time for the full Jake workout. Are you ready to try it? Sure. Gang out there, full beginners, start off small. Enjoy it. We're going to smile, Jude, right? Yeah. Take your time. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Feet shoulder width apart, right? Grab the sticks now. Bring it over our heads. Knees are bent slightly. Try to keep the stomach in as best you can, right? And we're just going to slide a little bit stretched, like this little morning stretch, right? Over the side. Now, we're not going to do the twist, right? None of that <laughs> stuff. We're just going to reach up, upper body. One, two, three, good, four, five, and six, and seven, and great. Now, we're going to bend a little bit, right? Bend over and bring it over to the side. Right, one. That's it, one. And two. Now you want to bend the legs a little bit. Three. And get a stretch in the thighs, right? Four. Hey, that's all right. Five. Don't bounce. Six. No bouncing. All the movements that we do are real basic and a lot of fun, right? Yes. Good fun. A little bit lower now. Right, now turn the stick out to the side. Turn the stick this way. There you go. Two. Three. Slow it down a little bit. Four. Good. Five. You don't have to worry about getting all the way down at first. Six. Seven, seven grandchildren, you're 44 years old. I don't believe it. The oldest is 28? Yes. Wow. Stick down. Here we go. You must have a lot of energy. Oh. Right? Stick down, do a side lunge. Put the stick oh. down. There you go. Oh. Okay. Down. Side lunge. Now, you have to go all the way down. I'm taking the stick from you right now. Here we go. Right down. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. If you're a little more advanced, you put the hands flat down on the ground. Five, six, just loosening up. Seven, and great. Now we turn to the side, stretch the calf out now. There you go. We're stretching the calf. Don't bounce. Everybody thinks bouncing is good. No bouncing. We're going to breathe normally. Feel up the calf back here? Yeah. Bend it over a little bit and straighten the leg a little bit. There you go. 
Her other side. Beautiful. Here we go. All the way. Now, yeah, stretch the other calf out, you. <laughs> Can't walk around lopsided, though, okay? Stretch out the calf. Good. Feel it? Yes. Now, get down that position for a Jake run. Down on all fours, right? And it's just a small run. Keeping the back nice and streamlined. Start off small. A little warm. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Great. On your back. It's highlight time. Summer time for you, Jude, and everybody out there. Here we go. The first one's the beginner. Feet flat on the ground, knees are bent, palms facing each other, right? We're just gonna reach. It's a small move, okay? We're gonna work the stomach. Reach through, keep the shoulders off the ground the whole time. Jude, you got this. Don't come all the way up. She's good at this. Four. Feel it in the stomach. Five, six, seven, and great. Now we're gonna bring the knees in now for a scrunch. Hands behind the head, right? Elbows in close, come on up the same way. One, two, a little bit slower, three, four. Breathing out on the way up, five, six, seven. One more for good luck, Judy, yeah, excellent. Now we're over on our side, working the outer thighs. Here we go, roll this way, there you go. Outer thigh time, keeping the body tight, upper body tight. Bend this leg a little bit, foot flex, straighten it up, there you go, one. Two, when you start out doing a program, you want to ease into it, right? Three, and four, and five, that's it. Six, feel me out of five. Seven, and great, we're sweating a little bit, and good. Other way, here we go, roll it over. Other side, all right, two, music is rocking. Keep it going, one, two, three. Legs, you feeling okay? Four, everybody at home jumping in, good, five, six, flex that foot, seven, and great. Now we're gonna pop it up. Stand up now, gang. I got your help. You okay? Here we go. Grab onto the sticks. Put it behind the neck. Now, start out nice and easy. A little lunge. One. And two. Good. Three. Take your time. Four. Keep your stomach in as best you can. Five. And great. Showing an exercise for every part of the body. Now, let's grab the weights. Here we go. Bring it up. A little shoulder press time now. Knees are bent slightly. Here we go for six. Turn them this way. And up to one. And two, three, there you go, we're smiling, four, five, and great. Bicep curls now, bend the knees, one, two, you know why you bend the knees? Take the pressure off your lower back. Four, five, and beautiful. Turn for the triceps now. Bend over a little bit, right? Elbows locked, kick it out. One, no, outside, one, two. You watch me this exercise, how's that? Watch this one, okay. like this. Three, four, five, you can count for me, six, Seven, Seven and great. That's all what I'm doing for you. Right down to the ground. <laughs> cool down time. Very important. Legs out nice and wide. Let's go in the middle. Reach out. This is called the wishbone stretch. Reach out as best you can. Three, four, and good. Outside. Feeling good, right? Yeah. Start off small. He's into a workout. Over the other side. And you enjoy it instead of rushing. Left leg straight. Let's bend the right leg. Here we go. Bend this right leg. Bend this right leg in. Just like that and reach out over the left leg. There you go. Brand new, and you keep on doing it now. I hope you're gonna keep doing this. Yeah. Other leg straight out. Bend this leg straight out. Perfect. You're breathing normally. Two legs straight out. Here we go. Bend the knees slightly. Want to keep the pressure off your lower back. Never want to hurt the lower back. Here we go. Feet in. Pow out stretch time. Head down. Now just touch the feet together. Oh, okay. There you go. Head down. Best you can. Are you stretched? And you're ready for the day. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Cute. Fantastic. I'm happy to keep the work out of it. Good job. Tracy Burgess before. Tracy Burgess after. Carla Powers before. Carla Powers after. Now at Weight Watchers, the difference between before and after is fast. Our new quick success program has a unique food plan that helps you lose weight fast. And it's easier than ever. The late nights before, the late nights after. Want proven results? Join Weight Watchers today and start living happily ever after. When you feel the need to feed, you want to resist that need quick. But diet pills can't begin to suppress that urge to chew right away. Now there's something that helps you resist faster than diet pills. Stay Trim Diet Gum, a safe, delicious appetite suppressant. 
because mm -hmm. stay trim's a gum. It starts to satisfy your urge to chew in seconds. Chew stay trim. It helps you resist faster than diet pills. And try delicious new stay trim diet mints with the same appetite suppressant as stay trim diet gum. Discovery Talent Search is coming to this area and wants you to audition for the upcoming television special. If you can sing, dance, act, or have any kind of talent, this could be your chance to be on television and win $1,000. There's a special junior division just for kids. Come on, show your talent, individuals and groups, and win big on Discovery. To schedule your free audition for the show, call 1-800-422-6946 or 1-800-I-CAN-WIN. I couldn't feed my kids on my old salary. I needed more money. I was in a dead-end job, but now I have a great career. I needed the kind of money professionals make. They went to the National Education Center. If you're out of a job or just need a bigger paycheck, get the training you need to get into the job market fast. Call now for this brochure. It could be the most important call you ever make. Call 1-800-722-7337. 1-800-722-7337. Rent to Own at Champion TV and Appliance Rentals and see what everybody's talking about. Rent to Own remote control color televisions, VCRs, heavy duty washer dryer combinations, top of the line complete stereo systems, and furniture groups for every room in your home. Right now, $5 pays the first week's rent on any item. That's right, just $5. Pick up the phone, call now, and let Champion treat you real good for just $5. Champion! Visit our three new locations in Norfolk and Hampton. All right, you saw my next guest at the beginning of the show in The Fit and the Fabulous. In real life, she not only is fit and fabulous, she stars in the daytime drama Santa Barbara. She's here with us today to show us some fit, fast, and fabulous cooking tips, Robin Matson. Hi! Well... Look, I brought you some goodies from my yard. Now, is this really from your yard? Yeah. Now, the avocados aren't in the recipe, but there's an avocado here. It's from the tree. Some tomatoes, some lemons, oranges, and some fresh herbs. I now, grow lots grow of herbs. The, now, you do it yourself. You don't have the gardener come in and take care of it. Well, you do it all by I yourself. I just try to keep the gardener from tearing them out. You know, he tears out my <laughs> asparagus bed every year. <laughs> now, does this green thumb kind of carry on into the kitchen? Well, what's great is I like to cook, and I also like to garden, and it's nice when I can do both and combine them. And this is a little dish called Spaghettini Sa Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara Spaghettini. And we'll start out here with a half a cup of olive oil, the bowl. Okay, now, now this is for everybody at home. Let's do this for Saturday nights, okay? So we can have a little of the, the olive oil, right? We'll, put, have, we'll have a little fun stuff on it. It's kind of nice and light. It's not, you know, too heavy. No cream sauce. I mean, there is the brie cheese, but... Okay, well, that's why I said light. Saturday nights, because I always tell everybody at home to follow a pretty good diet during the week, but to take one day off. So this will be our day off meal, okay? All right, and this is about four cloves of garlic all chopped up here. Mm. The guys here did this for me ahead of time. So when you, can, you can let this garlic and oil sit together for a little while, let the flavors permeate. Permeate? Permeate. Okay. And these are about six tomatoes all chopped up and peeled. I peeled them first. The trick about peeling tomatoes is you drop a tomato in boiling water and then the peel comes off the really... The skin comes right off. Right off. Oh, beautiful. So now, this also up. must kind of relieve a lot of stress from like the day of work. You come home, kick back, right? I find it really therapeutic to cook and uh, I really relax. I just turn up the music. I'm going to chop up a little more basil okay, here. Okay, chop that up. Want me to help out doing something? Oh, here? you know what? Maybe we got, with this brie we got some brie. Okay. It's about a pound of brie. And to about a pound of pasta. Put it all in here. Now, she said, yeah, do it with my hands. That's what I do. We're going to have fun. You know, we make exercise fun. We might as well make a little cooking fun. And this is about a half a cup of uh, uh, chopped gay. basil. Smell that. Ooh, it really is delicious. Woo! It smells great. Now, great. more? There we go. All yeah. of it? You oh, want yeah. Your, all in there? Mm hmm This is definitely, like look, I said, starting not to look very pretty. Green. Okay, here we go. Okay. And uh, also put a little salt and pepper in and up. It's up to you. you know, now, how this much, is for a serving for how, how many people here? This is like, this is a pound of pasta, and that serves like a for me. four. Well, no. four <laughs> is the main course, and, and six is like a, a first course. You could use it as an appetizer or a luncheon. I'm just putting a little uh, pepper in here. I have and so a little much salt. fun during these segments. I can like... But I'll leave it up to you to scream. Mom doesn't have to yell at me. I can go like this. Mom, I'm going to grab your, uh, I'm going to grab the pasta Thanks, here. Thanks, Jerry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
wipe this off. All over. right. Were you going to do this? Or was I supposed to? Well, do this? you could do it. No, this is your dish. And this is that little thin angel hair pasta, the spaghettini. Okay. We'll just dump it in here. Dump it right in there. Beautiful. And the heat of the pasta, you don't have to cook. Melt the brie yeah. cheese. You don't cook anything. You just uh, the heat of the pasta melts the cheese. You're shaking it up. You're shaking I'll it up. No, it up this here. really does must relieve a lot of stress right after the day of work. You come home, you make this. You it's loosen fun. It up. It's creative. And, uh, you know, you give it your own interpretation. And it does definitely melt the brie, and the spaghetti does fly all over the place. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think we've got some uh, little dishes there Ooh. of the pasta already oh, so we made up. try it? Okay, I'll bring them right over here. Now, this is what it looks like after Robin is completed. When you get it all arranged on the here dish. Here we go, right, right, right over here. Now, do we get a chance to try this? Absolutely. Okay, let's, let's uh, both do it together over here. I'll take a fork, you take a fork. Hey, bon tell me what you think. I hope you were hungry. Cheerio, mate. Mm. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Robert Matching Gang. I just adore fresh Is a fistful of fast food really worth it? Hmm. Stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse, when you must not quit. Don't quit. Have a great day.